Hello, I'm Ken, and in this video I'm going to show you how I added an electric motor to my Fiskars Stay Sharp Real Mower. So here are the parts I needed to add. Uh, first off, I had this plate cut um, to hold the motor, and it bolts to the side of the Fiskars mower. And then just some assorted bolts to hold the motor in and hold the plate on, and some washers, some lock washers. So in manual mode, the small sp uh, sprocket was on the front and this larger sprocket was on the back and was driven by the, the wheels as you push. So the fact that this motor, and you can see the motor here, not mounted yet, it's a 40 volt Ryobi motor and it's about 2700 RPM. So the first thing we're gonna do is mount the plate onto the side of the mower and it's using the existing bolt holes. There's four of them. So this just goes on here like so. And these are somewhat slotted so the chain tension can be adjusted. These are just eight millimeter metric bolts. And one more up here. See that moves a little bit. That'll allow us to adjust the chain. Next, the motor mounts on this plate, and I needed to add some spacers in between the motor and the plate. It would be like this. I don't know if you can see that. Put a lock washer and a nut on the back. Do that four times. So the motor's on, looks good. Spacers are good. Uh, the next step is to put the smaller sprocket on. And this motor has a flat spot right here. And it's got a Allen key uh, set. So you get the set on the flat spot, but we'll put the chain on first and, and work it on and make sure it's straight. So I had to take this bolt out to get the chain on to give me that movement for loosening the chain. Just pop it up there. This thing should go on. And then you line up your set screw with the flat spot. Make sure this thing is straight. Looks pretty straight. Now that the chain's on good, and everything seems to be moving freely, I'm going to tighten it up. And get this guy back in place. Leave this one loose. That's actually part of the um, adjustment for the blade. So I mounted the speed controller 
just temporarily on here. It has to be horizontal or else uh, there's a safety cutoff. All the wires are run temporarily. This set came with a key and a proximity sensor that needs metal and then lights and also the battery connection. The battery is a Ryobi 40 volt lithium 6 amp hour. That just slides onto the connector here. I'll mount this a little, a little bit better in the future. I uh, have a cutoff switch, turn that on and the lights go on. And then there's a push button that I'll probably mount up top on here. clean it up just a prototype now I did put smaller wheels on the front to get it down lower um, I may put a cylinder on there but that's it Fisker's Frankenmower <laughs>